Happy New Year, everybody. Oh man, I cannot believe it. A brand new year. We have not really been working. Um, pretty much took a week off for Christmas, the holidays, you know, spend it with friends and family. So that's why I haven't had too many videos out lately, but we're still really not working with this beautiful foggy morning. Um, but today I'm going to go out and look at a job with my dad and we might go look at a disc for the vineyard as well. So I figured, hey, you guys might might want to come along doing my morning routine, taking care of the chickens and then I'll be off to the farm. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. I farm grain crops with my dad and I planted my very first vineyard in April of 2018. I can't believe it was almost two years ago. This year is going to be so amazing. 2020 has got a lot in store for me. It's gonna be a challenging year, but I'm really, really excited. If you're new here and you wanna follow my farming journey, remember to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. It means so much to me. I just wanna show you guys some of the awesome gifts I got. Well, one of you guys got me this. I love it so much. Um, you know who you are and I super appreciate it and I will be using it. It came with all these cute little tools. I mean, so this is like where you can change the top of the screwdriver, a little hammer, which is actually really heavy for how little it is. I've got tape measure. I mean, like everything is in here. So thank you. I think this is like the cutest thing ever and I'm totally going to be using it. Now, what I got myself for Christmas. So I um, decided I wanted this for Christmas a little bit late. So I pretty much told everybody, if you give me a little bit of money for Christmas, this is what I'm gonna buy with it. And this is what I got. I got a GoPro. If you didn't know, oh, look at a little bee. Sorry, you get distracted easily. If you didn't know, I record everything on my phone and I will still probably be recording almost everything on my phone. Um, but after meeting all those awesome people at Farmer to Farmer, like Nick Welker and you, I mean, you guys saw who I met. It was just like, okay, I want a GoPro now. So I did it. I got a GoPro 8. We'll see how it goes. And I got a whole bunch of good stuff for it. Magnets, clips. So this was kind of my Christmas present from everyone and also my Christmas present to myself. Yeah, it looks like it's too wide. You're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta record you more so you start acting natural. Rain, what are you doing, Rain? Sit right there. You wanna be on camera? Rain wants to be on camera. Rain! <gasps> Who's a good girl? You wanna go? I think it's just the cold that makes her look skinny because I've been feeding her almost double now. <laughs> you just always look skinny, huh, Rain? Sorry, Melly, you missed out. Oh, Melly. Go on. Poor Melly. No. Almost flooded. We need to start doing these, I think, with real elevations for you. Okay. And if we could tie your other ones into real elevations, we need to try to start doing that, I think. Yeah, no, get them tied in. I'll tell that engineer that. We just met with one of our customers. I wasn't able to take a whole bunch of video because it's a privately owned island and just, you know privacy stuff but anyways we just finished up my dad is still talking though you can see them dad and i can't do this 
Morgan. <laughs> Anyways, this island's all about the birds. If you guys saw my video where I said flooding an island, that's this island, but we're just gonna be doing some work for them. I thought we were gonna be here like an hour and we've been here like four hours, but that's okay. Moving right along. I brought my cool GoPro, but I haven't even got to use it. Didn't get to take any video here. Ugh, I started watching reviews about the 8, and people complained about this, saying it's, like, too flimsy. I hope I didn't make a mistake by getting the 8. But there's some accessories coming out for it that the 7 don't have. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully it'll still be good, guys. Wow. Okay. I'm going to make my first video of 2020 with the GoPro. So we're gonna see how this goes, everybody. Just realized my dog never came to me. Rain heel! Oh, there you are. Hi, baby. Hi. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, I just didn't know where you were. Just have to check. Oh, it's actually a beautiful day. Probably don't need my beanie, but I prefer it. Oh, let's go see how the vineyard looks. 2019. Wow, it's over. Happy New Year's. Happy 2020. It's the Roaring Twenties. Wow, my vineyard looks so dead, but that's okay. It's about time it goes dormant. I just thought I'd make a little video about some of my favorite memories from 2019. I didn't start YouTube until a couple months ago, so there's a lot that isn't out here. So I figured why not put it out there? Starting off in January, my husband and I took our honeymoon to Chiang Mai, Thailand. It was incredible. It was such an amazing trip. We went to an elephant rescue. We explored beautiful temples. It just was, it was absolutely amazing. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I would recommend people go to Chiang Mai, go to Thailand. Um, it was super affordable. I mean, people go to Hawaii for probably three times as much as we spent going to Thailand and that's including the flight. So it was an amazing honeymoon. I would, I would do it again in a heartbeat and I would recommend for people to go there. That was in January. In February, my vineyard had its very first pruning. That's when we we're planning to prune again this year is February. So that was a really, really big move. In March, I made my very first Beaver Vineyard shirt. So that was pretty exciting. I made the design, I sold everything on pre-sales, and I sold so many shirts, it was so amazing. Um, everyone was really, really supportive, and now I have a lot more merch. There's a link down below in the descriptions if you guys wanna check out the merch I have now. It's just, it's just been awesome to see everyone who supports me and my farm and my channels, and it's been really fun, and I hope to make more merch in 2020. In May, I got my egg factory hens, which has been a challenge, but very rewarding. Um, maybe you guys have seen my last video that I had to give one of my chickens back to the rescue, but it's really been rewarding, um, just bringing those ladies home and helping them get healthy again. And my chicken obsession has pretty much blown up from there. In May, I also somehow got connected with Jay Hill. Uh, he doesn't really do YouTube. I think he's got a couple of YouTube videos, but he's pretty big on Instagram and he's just like a major ag advocate. And getting connected with Jay was pretty awesome because he helped me connect with so many other people. And I'm just really thankful for him for that because a lot of people on Instagram, I, I kind of got connected with because of Jay. Trevor Bales, a lot of the YouTube guys and gals. That, that's been an awesome connection and I feel like that kind of all stemmed from meeting Jay. He's just got an amazing way of looking at ag and the future of ag. So, so that was a really cool connection to make just through social media. Over summer, I decided to make my first vlog. 
So I technically started YouTube in about June, I believe. I made a few videos. I talked to the millennial farmer, Zach, who I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is. Um, this farm wife, Meredith, has helped me. There's been quite a few handful of people that have helped me out from the beginning. I put a couple videos out and I, I just got a little discouraged. I wasn't really sure where I was going with my channel, what I wanted to do. So after a few videos, I just ended up stopping. Took some time off, which I think was, was really good. Summer, I didn't really do too much. We worked a ton on the farm. It's irrigating season here. It's hot. So not, not too much going on there. But then coming into fall, I heard a podcast. I believe it was the Shark Farmer podcast. He was talking to Brian Brown. And Brian said he made a video every day of corn harvest or every day of harvest. And I just thought, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. It'll get me comfortable. And that's what I did. I got on YouTube and I made those videos and I've been here ever since. Uh, made those videos for, during corn harvest. A lot of you guys came at that time and I've been on YouTube ever since then. I'm really enjoying it. Things have slowed down for the winter but 2020 is gonna be a really fun year. Really major news, which I made a whole video on this, is in November, I've bought my very first tractor. That's obviously a massive highlight for me. I've been wanting a tractor for a while, but I was just waiting for the right one, and it's here, I've got it, baby blue, sitting in the equipment yard, just waiting to be used. It's gonna be a, maybe a month, two months before I can really do anything with baby blue, but we're gonna start working on her a little bit. She doesn't need too much work, but we're gonna get some implements hooked up to her, make things, make sure things will actually fit in my rows and we'll see how that goes. Biggest highlight of December was definitely going to Omaha, Nebraska for Farmer to Farmer. I'm sure you guys have seen that video. My mind was just blown at that event. I got to meet all these amazing people that I've been talking to through social media, and I finally got to see their faces and give them hugs. And they were all just as amazing in person as they were online, if not more, actually. I mean, all these people were just exactly who you think they are. <sighs> incredible, incredible. And I can't wait to see all those people again next year. Hopefully before then, if I can. Um, but yeah, Farmer to Farmer was absolutely amazing. My family and I had a great Christmas. There were definitely some rough things that happened this year. Um, I got a disease in my chicken flock. Whew. God, talking and walking, it's like I'm out of shape or something. <laughs> I got a disease in my chicken flock that was a really rough um, lesson for me to learn about quarantine period with new chickens. So that was a big learning curve. My grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer. She actually just had her last chemo treatment. It's not the end of the road, but she is doing fabulous. So I'm looking at the positive side of that. And the big one, struggling with my bank. I'm looking into changing to a new bank, who I think is gonna be really great for me. We'll see how that goes. I'm praying everything works out because I gotta make these babies make it to the harvest of 2020. So, oh, 2019 has been a great year, you know? Every year has, has hard moments. I know this year has been really hard for a lot of farmers, but I'm gonna end this year on a high note and on the positive things that have happened and that I just can't wait for 2020. I can't wait to share it with all you guys. It's gonna be a great year. My husband's starting school to be a PA. I'm gonna have my first grape harvest, which is just gonna be a dream come true. And I'm gonna share it all with you guys. I'm so happy that I started YouTube a couple months before 2020 pretty much because it got me a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. Now I got a GoPro, so hopefully I'll be able to make even better video for you guys. Still working on getting my dad totally on board, but he's he'll get there, he'll get there. He just likes to pick on me at this point, but I'm gonna get him to warm up to it. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting like equipment tours and things like that, and we're just not quite there yet. So we'll have to see about that, but maybe one of these days. 
scary thing about the GoPro is I cannot see what I'm filming while I'm filming it. <laughs> so I'm praying that all of that footage turns out okay. If you're watching this video, that means it made it. That was my short little recap of 2019. I'm so excited for 2020. It's gonna be a challenging year, but I know it's gonna be an awesome year and I'm so excited to share all the ups and the downs. I'm gonna be keeping it real with you guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you wanna follow my journey and it means so, so much to me. I can't believe I'm already almost to 10,000 subscribers. It's like, it's so crazy because I just got really serious in October and it just, it means so much to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year.